What do you say to people who say drinking is okay because Jesus drank wine? Um, you say, I think, I think you need to add just a word or two to that sentence. Like, drinking can be okay. Okay? <laughs> um, the, the statement, it's okay, may or may not carry in their mind a pattern of life that's healthy. Um, I would say some drinking is definitely not okay. Like drinking to drunkenness is not okay. That's clear in the Bible. Uh, another one that's not okay is uh, drinking with a person who is manifestly having their conscience wounded and being tempted to draw into something that they just spent uh, six years trying through Teen Challenge and AA to get free from. And now you're drawing them right into what killed them. And it kills millions of people in this culture. It's killing marriages. It's killing jobs. Alcohol is deadly in this culture. Now, I don't, I don't know uh, what or how deadly it was in Jesus' culture. I, drunkenness was real. Clearly, the Bible condemns it. How real and deadly it was, I don't know. I just know what I'm dealing with when I go to talk at Teen Challenge or when I pray with a man like I did Maybe Joshua's watching after church last Sunday and I said, when I'm done here, I'm going out and get drunk because I'm done. I think I'm apostate and I'm beyond help and forgiveness and I've been through treatment so many times it's hopeless. And I just know that is so prevalent. People that are cavalier about this thing called alcohol make no sense to me. So I'm just saying, uh, add a word to that sense. <laughs> of, of, of course you can't defend in any absolute way teetotalism from the Bible. It's clear that uh, wine is a blessing in the Bible. If you make the choice, like me, that I'm going to be a teetotaler, it's, it's, it's just not based on the condemnation of the evil of wine, demon rum, blah, blah, blah. That's just not it at all. It's, it's a context in which I live. It's my children and my grandchildren. It's, it's my addictive personality. I don't even, I can't even buy a pack of gum without going through it in an hour. So just, don't, I, I sense a lot of young guys who uh, don't want to be legalistic and want to spread their wings and no gospel freedom are just not very realistic about the world in which we live. So that's a little warning and uh, a very caution. And, and I know the pushback would be, would be real strong from a lot of people I admire greatly that I could easily fall into a trap of, of ruling out for everybody what God has given as a precious gift. And so there you have it.